the difference between Lakshmi and Mahalakshmi is very, very simple that when you have a lot of wealth and then you have grace to enjoy that wealth, that that is known as Mahalakshmi. That means you have a family that obeys you, that love you. You have children, you know, who are deeply in love with you. You have a wife, you have a spouse, you know, who is concerned about you, right? And then you have an extremely good health. Now, when you combine all these things, when you win over your conversations, right? When you have a, a blessing of a guru in your life, right? That is Mahalakshmi. See, if you just have money and you don't have all these things around you, it is only Lakshmi. And this Lakshmi can be with a lot of people, but Mahalakshmi can be seen in the charts of very few people. After this particular workshop, you'll be able to understand to what extent you, know, you have Lakshmi in your life, to what extent you have Mahalakshmi you know, in your life, to, you know, to what extent you have that love, that care, that good mindset, because having a good mind is also Lakshmi. Right? It is kind of a Lakshmi. To have that constant flow in your life you know, is also a Lakshmi. I have seen a lot of people during my consultations who, you know, give me a story that Guruji, you know, we were earning so much 10 years ago and we earned a lot. We had so many cars, we had so many, you know, flats and properties, but now, right, neither we have health nor we have that, um, you know, amount of money that we enjoyed and we are in huge amount of stress. What does that mean? That means that somewhere the Kanakdhara Lakshmi is, is not present in your chart. You know, Kanakdhara is a, is a Lakshmi that gives you flow, that will give you a continuous flow in your life, right? So we have various categories, we have various planetary combinations, and the entire, you know, workshop will be around Jyotish. There is a nectar, Amrita, which is flowing from the Kalisha, the jars and nourishes the rivers and the beings of the universe. She has four hands. In the two hands, she holds the two lotus flowers, right? Just like the Surya Devata. And the two four hands are the Abhay Mudra and the Vara Mudra. Both these Abhay Mudras and the Vara Mudras are also associated with Sri Somanath Shiva. So I'll explain you these complexities, you know, as we go ahead. She has four hands, okay? Uh, sorry, she, she is seated on a Padma Asana, on the lotus posture, on a red lotus that symbolizes purity, right? Kamala means the red lotus, and Kamala refers to her, one of the names, you know, she's also Kamala Lakshmi, which is the essence of the red lotus. She is associated with the exalted Venus, causing fertility, marriage, wealth, food, grains, right? And Mahalakshmi is the goddess of fortune, riches, marriage, relationships, fertility, children, wealth, and every kind of food and material well-being. So when you say, you know, that Lakshmi is all about money, the liquidity, the cash, the property that you have. No. You know, according to me, if you have a beautiful food, beautiful dish in your plate and you have ability to enjoy it, you have been served it beautifully with love and you have relatives, friends and family who could sit together and eat that food that is known as Mahalakshmi. Wealth of every kind comes by fortune and hard work, but only stays with those who have the wisdom to hold on to it, right? So, I mean, you can have yogas that will give you a lot of wealth from, you know, this particular year to this particular year, right? So, if you have, you know, yogas, okay, oh, from 2008 to 2012, I earned a lot of money. But then, you know, it just went away. Well, that is case with a lot of horoscopes. People will ask me, Guruji, I had a golden period in my life. You know, there was a time when 
everything was working for me, but then everything just went away. Well, there are yogas. I'll help you to identify those yogas in a particular chart. Lakshmi brings love and money to the native. There are various forms of Lakshmi. There is something known as Griha Lakshmi that gives all the comforts and security. Dhana Lakshmi gives wealth and the values that one can cherish. Kanakadhara gives you stable business and career. Vijaya Lakshmi gives you victory in debates and legal battles. And Mahalakshmi gives victory in all sort of above challenges and wars that you have in your life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the introduction. This is just an information, you know, about what is Mahalakshmi, right? Just to make you understand that we are not going to talk about the money. We are also going to talk about a lot of prosperity in our life. You know, the, the health, happiness, family, children, the path, you know, the circumstances of your life. Sun is the source, is the giver of the wealth. You see, on this Mother Earth, imagine if you don't have sun, what will happen? Our temperature on this Mother Earth will be minus 400. We'll have nothing, no life, no prosperity. We'll have no wealth. If you look at the picture of Mahalakshmi, you know, there is a nectar. There is, you know, she will also hold some grains. She will be giving drinkable water, you know, to this mother earth, to the planet. Now, what happens is, what is the difference between moon and Venus? Moon is a water that you cannot drink. Okay? If you go to a sea, right, can you drink sea water? No. So Mahalakshmi is not associated with sea water. Mahalakshmi is associated with the waters of the river. Right? River is the only source of water which is drinkable. And that source is Venus. Okay? So the difference between moon and Venus is this. Both are Jal Tattvas. But Venus is something that you can drink. Moon is something that you cannot consume. In the similar way, Surya is the natural Atma Kara. It is the spark of everything. It is the spark of your soul. So if you want to understand the amount of wealth that is there in the horoscope, it is going to be seen from the Surya only. Right? Imagine, as I said, you know, does your horoscope has a jug of water? Or does your horoscope have just one glass of water? This will be absolutely clarified to you and you'll be able to understand that after this particular lecture. You see, if there is a jug of water, you can have many glass, glasses out of it. Your family, your, you know, your relatives, your friends, everyone can enjoy that water. But what if you have only one glass and that is also half filled? That is defined from the Surya in your horoscope. Surya will tell you, you know, the, the amount of, you know, the amount of, uh, amount of Kubera. How close is the Kubera associated with your horoscope? Now, Kubera is the manager of Mahalakshmi. And we can calculate Kubera. We can calculate prosperity. We can calculate health. Everything is going to be calculated from the Surya in your horoscope. Surya, he sabhi cheezo ka karak hai when it comes to prosperity. Moon is the path towards your wealth. Now you've understood that suppose you have, you know, you have a jug of water and it is about five kilometers away from you. So if you know the path, you'll be able to reach that jug easily, early, but on the same time, if you don't know your path, if your path is full of obstacles, if your mind does not have the clarity, you will not be able to reach to that wealth, you know, in your life 
in a given or in an appropriate time you see there are many people who earn money you know in the later stages of their life they get prosperity in their mid 50s or mid 60s or early 60s whole life for first 40 45 years you know these people are facing a lot of hurdles you know they are not able to have clarity in their mind they will change their jobs they'll change their businesses today they are in the clothing business tomorrow they have a sweet shop you know after 10 years of the sweet shop they just are into you know the share trading and then in the end they are, they have a partnership with someone and they get into a finance business so this is what happen with the people who does not have that smooth path in their life some of you would see people who start their startups at the age of 28 29 and by the age of 36 they are millionaires and they have a good family good wife good children everything seems to be settled and they also have lot of peace of mind so that means the chandra in their horoscope the path towards that that particular wealth is good in their chart i will help you identify those paths in this particular workshop then once you have identified the quantum the source of the wealth you have understood the path you know path also includes job or a business aapko kya karna chahiye you know that path suppose if you are if you are working with a company then you know that job is your source of wealth if you are having a business then that business is that source of your wealth your journey towards that job your journey in that business is decided by moon but what kind of karmas will you do how will your lagna learn every day learning is a continuous process it cannot end till your last breath right how much expertise will you have will you have a very smooth karmic connection with your you know with your chandra will you have a very smooth karmic connection with your surya will you be considered as an intelligent person will you feel confident in your life will you have that calculation in your life that will be seen from mercury you see in earlier years what what used to happen was people used to consider people who can calculate things are intelligent you know people used to say okay if you can become a doctor or you can become an engineer that person is only intelligent if you are not good in mathematics or if you are not good in science then you take humanities either you you know do your graduation in geography or you can do it in political science or history and then you know you you choose a career accordingly but i think that is very very wrong that is not how you should calculate that how much intelligent you are and what will be your you know what what will be the range of your karmas so will your karmas be productive will you have karmas you know that are unproductive they are not giving anything to a job or a business is seen from the mercury how well your lagna will behave how well your intelligence will behave how well you know your expertise in this particular world how well you will get that recognition because of your expertise is seen from the mercury so will will understand certain yogas which are seen from the mercury in your chart as well and then the jupiter is the final result jupiter is the wealth himself right so so imagine you have identified the source you have identified the path you have identified the karmas that are associated to attain that mahalakshmi but then jupiter doesn't allow you there you know you have, you have that is the case i was talking about that you have money but you don't have ability to enjoy the money came but that came for a very short span of time it came for 3 years 4 years 5 years but then it was gone you had promotions in your job for 1 year 2 years and then last 10 years the life is stagnant right you do not have that continuous flow of success and money in your life that is seen from jupiter right the jupiter placement and the combinations around the jupiter will tell you the continuity of that prosperity the continuity of that wealth so you will be taught you know on the guru kripa if you have guru kripa if you have certain yogas in your horoscope then 
that continuity will be there look at lata mangeshkar you know look at you know people who had continuous prosperity in their life but then they never married you know so we'll have to calculate certain yogas that jupiter may give you lot of money may give you lot of name fame wealth but then it can also deprive you from certain things right so that will be taught when you talk about jupiter and lagna comes in the end you know lagna shows your ability lagna interacts with the jupiter and mercury why do you think lagna interacts with jupiter and mercury you see i have not taken jupiter at the first place nor i have taken mercury at the first place sun and moon are independent of jupiter and mercury ye baat aap yaad rakhiyega in every horoscope sun and moon are independent you know they are they do not they do not depend on jupiter or mercury but your lagna you yourself depend on the on mercury and jupiter because lagna interacts with mercury and jupiter how can someone tell me in which house jupiter and mercury gets the directional strength type it type it type it let me see jupiter or mercury ka digbal kahan par hota hai where where they find the first house which is the lagna okay lagna so first house is lagna so that means the planet that interacts with the lagna the, these planets are jupiter and mercury so how intelligent you will be how how much wisdom will you have right this will depend upon your relationship of jupiter and mercury with your lagna right so if the relationship of jupiter and mercury with your lagna is good only then you will find that person aligned with mahalakshmi you may have exalted planets in in the lagna i don't care i don't care you might have exalted mangal in the lagna you might have exalted surya in the lagna you might have exalted chandra in the lagna until your lagna have a good relationship with jupiter or mercury right you will not be very close to mahalakshmi i must tell you that you will be deprived of certain things in your life that is for sure that is for sure okay now these are the four major planets that you have to keep in mind when you look at mahalakshmi surya chandra buddha and piraspati 